730, 92.1, WROI, WROIFM.com. Streaming audio live on RTC Channel 5, audio and video live on RTC Channel 4, which means a hearty good morning to Scott. Good morning, sir. Hey, Scott's back in the studio today. We all applaud and just go crazy. Yay. <laughs> and of course, well, no, wait a minute. Why are we applauding? I don't know. I shaved. I, just, like just, I, I know, I know, Scott. Just, just got a little ahead of myself there. Okay. <laughs> And of course, if you have a smartphone or an Android device, you can download, download the TuneIn radio app or something similar. Take us wherever you happen to be going, which today will be the First Federal Savings Bank, where you say hello to Dick Belcher. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Amy. Good morning. Amy's Good also morning. in the studio. Good morning. Right. Yeah. Right. Might be to the parade tonight. You can take your smartphone to the parade, tune us in, and know all about the the uh, floats that are coming along. And how many floats do we have? Just like that. Well, we have uh, almost 50 entries so almost far. Almost 50. Yep. And you never know who's going to show up at the last minute, right? That is what we right. have determined, that we are going to do the best uh, laid plans, but we're assuming that a whole bunch of folks will probably show up. So <laughs> we're hoping that Tom can take control we'll of We'll take care of it. <laughs> Well, Send him down. He's good at that. <laughs> yeah, that's why we don't ever want to get rid of him because he's the only one that can manage that. Send it down. So. Send him down. We'll get him on. Well, it's going to be a perfect weather. It weekend. is. It's going to be great. It's going to be nice for the parade. And right. we got uh, all kinds of things coming up this weekend that uh, Amy's going to talk about a little bit later, uh, including Manitou Monster, Fulton County Power Show, uh, Bicentennial Parade tonight, right. and uh, Mendo Flying Club's having breakfast in the morning, okay. and the community block party tomorrow. Okay. Wow. Father's Day on Sunday. Father's mm -hmm. Day. Happy Father's Day. Yeah. Yes. That's great. Everybody. That's great. Okay, uh, the power show's on out there. It is. And uh, the featured business is RTC, Rochester right. Communications. And uh, Scott, you've done a little... Uh, short on that and uh, with a little history and that uh, people can see it out there right yeah we'll have a nice video up on the monitors out there a few hundred pictures of our history and past uh for folks to take a look at when they visit our booth out there after all rtc is 120 years old 120 that's right and counting and counting yeah that's right <laughs> okay about the feature uh tractor out there this year is alice showers do you remember those Absolutely. <laughs> Somehow I figured you would. Yeah. They were very popular in the 50s. Right. Very popular. Um, and so here's the trivia. What is the name of the shade of orange on most antique Alice Chalmer tractors? Is it safety orange, burnt orange, or Parisian orange? Hmm. Well, you knew they are orange. Yes, I did know that. Okay. Yes, I didn't uh, actually understand there were different shades, but now I do. Well, there's sh different shades of orange. Okay. Is that the PMS system? Okay. The Pantone method system or whatever? The what? Marketing, marketing <laughs> colors, marketing <laughs> colors. Kelly tells me all about this. I don't know anything about it. Okay. Yeah. Details. Well, I'll have the answer at the end. Good, good. Scott's working on it as we speak. Googling it. Oh, I can't Google it. That's cheating. <laughs> Slip us the. Okay. You would if we got free money, wouldn't you? You're never <laughs> skipping it. But... <laughs> okay, the Cavs won last night. They did, yes. They were down uh, three to one, right? Yep, three to one. Now it's three three. Three three Sunday night yep. in California. Yeah, and the King James got forty one points. He did. And Golden State's unhappy about the officiating. Yeah, well, uh, Steve Curry. Mm -hmm. He fouled out. Well, he, he, and he threw his mouthpiece. Yeah, he was mad. Threw his mouthpiece. Hit a fan. Ooh. Not good. Oh, there, that's... that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got ejected. Well, he'll be, uh, he'll be fined. And then, of course, I'm sure uh, the coach will be fined. And... Then we'll play Game 7 Sunday well, night. Well, yeah, he'll be playing in Game 7. I think so, yes. Well, no, no question about it. Again. He's got to play in Game yeah, 7, sure. Yeah. They'll just say, no, don't do that. Now, anybody else that did it would probably be banned mm -hmm. for a game. Yeah. Okay. Well, I see uh, I use closing up the south end of their stadium for at the tune of $53 million. Did you know that? How much? $53 mil, million. Why? Dollars. Why? 
Well, they're adding some things. Oh. Not seed. <laughs> <laughs> Hot dogs and Cokes? Well, administrative, administrative thing. Oh, I see. Scott, okay. why, why is, why is I spending million $53 million million dollars to wow. close up the end of their stadium? So nobody can watch us play. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, anyway, <clears throat> adding 66,000 square feet. Okay. So. None of it seating. None of it seating, no, no, which no is seating. kind of surprising, it's, really. Not really. Okay. It's uh, going to be bars and lounges. Huh? We do that good. really well down there at IU. Yeah. We don't play too much of a game, but by gosh, we enjoy it. <laughs> well, uh, if a good tailgate party. Exactly. Mm. I've been down there a few times for that. Well, I see uh, Rochester High School has a new AD, Greg Martz. He'll do a good job. Is that pronounced correctly? Yep. Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. He's coming from Wabash. He's been teaching for 22 years, and he's been an AD for 12 years. So he is seasoned. Yes, he, he is. Has. A lot of organization under his belt. He knows what he's doing. Okay. So we got a new AD. We got a new football coach. That we do. And new basketball coach. No. 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 Don't start any rumors no. now. Everybody else is still the same. <laughs> Watch out, world. Just football and uh, AD. But they'll do a good job, both of them. Yeah. They will. Okay, some upcoming events. The Rochester Downtown Partnership is having its second annual Black Park Block Party tomorrow, 1 to 8. We're going to talk a little more about that. And the Fulton County Community Foundation's 2016 Scholarship Reception and Ice Cream Social is 5.30. June 21st. Nice event. That's the first uh, day of summer, right? Right. Well, some some would say June 20th, so it's either the 20th or the 21st, okay. depending on which All calendar right. you're All looking right. at. Anyway, they're having it out at the Round Bar Golf Club, and uh, so uh, if you've been a recipient of the scholarship or related to them, uh, show up out there. And the National Alice Chalmers Gathering of the Orange. By the way, one of our listeners just called in. Did you realize, and you probably did, all the sleeves for the Alice Chalmers engines were made at Seal Power here in Rochester? Really? They were. Yeah. I did not know that. I didn't either. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Well, they made they did. tons and tons of you sleeves. You bet they did. For everything. Okay. Thank you for well, the Alice listener calling in. Alice Chalmers was uh, very popular back in the 50s and uh, uh, lots of uh, haying equipment. They made round balers and uh, they were kind of the leader, one of the leaders in the farm equipment. But, Pretty durable, right? Yeah, but uh, like a lot of the things that happen uh, as years go by, they get merged and bought out, and patents are sold, and so forth. Okay, uh, barbecue chicken is served 11 to 6 p.m. or until sold out June 25th at the Faith Outreach Center. Proceeds will be used for youth summer camp. Rochester Downtown Partnership hopes, hosts a 5K color run July 2nd. Mm -hmm. You gonna be in that, Amy? I wish, I'll probably be working it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get to enjoy it, I get to work it. Okay. Got to keep somebody, somebody's got to keep it. I, I saw highlights of that last year. That's one reason I wouldn't want to be in it. But <laughs> it seems like a lot of fun. <laughs> if you like messy things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? Yeah, that's true. Well, Tom, Can Tom, turn into a smurf or something. Tom, talk, last year, <laughs> Tom last year talked about being in it. He should do it. He and Sue could be blue all over if they wanted to be. Things. Yeah, I might do that. Bring it on. Bring it on. Scott, yeah. you could do it too. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think they have 50 folks right now, Chase Thompson said at the moment. 50 mm -hmm. folks. Yeah. So <clears throat> they want more, of course. You still uh, doing current events? Hmm? Because you're still doing current events? Because yeah. I was going to mention the, well, maybe you have it, the uh, Bi County Truck and Tractor Pull coming up next weekend. That's always yeah. a big event in our area. At the fairgrounds. At the fairgrounds, right. Yeah. They have a sign up that's been there there many years, not by the highway. 
which happens to be on some property of close friends of mine. <laughs> <laughs> and that close friend got a notice from the state, state. that it wasn't properly licensed. <laughs> oh, come on. Oops. They wanted 10 bucks or 20 bucks. <laughs> Naturally. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to give them, a, it had been there 20 years and right. they never said anything. So. They finally got to it, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Okay, I see, uh, you know, Glenn Cleland passed away uh, recently. He was in World War II. We had Glenn on several times. We did. Mm -hmm. Great, great individual. And I see uh, that they're doing, trying to do a count of World War II veterans that are remaining. It's about 20. Right. That are still, mm -hmm. you see, they're 90 plus. Oh, yeah. So, but Willard Clark's right in that. He is. He's there. Uh, we've had him on talk about the Battle of Bastogne and right. a few of those things. So. Okay, uh, we'll give some flowers this morning to Amy Severance. Uh, she works at First Federal and uh, we're celebrating her 25th anniversary. But yeah, congratulations. And uh, we'll, we'll give her a bagel from next door. <laughs> <laughs> no gold wash, but we'll give her a bagel. Yeah. And I think, if I'm correct, that today or near today is the 20th anniversary of you and I being on this program. I believe that's correct. I could look that up, but I think that's yeah. about right. Well, it's not about right. It is. It is right. Well, if Dina put it down, it is correct. <laughs> well, she, well, you looked it up some time ago. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. I can't believe we've been doing this 20 years. 20 years. Wow. Time just flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Congratulations. It started out by doing live commercials and then. He likes to talk, <laughs> <laughs> and especially when I'm paying the bill, uh -huh. the, mm -hmm. the minutes just go on. He likes to take <laughs> his the time for your time. <laughs> That's right. It's mm. a good tag team, right? It's a win-win all you the way around. Yeah. He talks, so. yeah. <laughs> okay, you ready for m money news? Yes. Okay, now Fair Oaks Farm. Are you familiar with Fair Oaks Farm? Okay, yes, two days ago they dedicated the Winfield Crop Adventure. Okay. Yes, that's, that's, if you ever if you haven't been there, you need to go over there. I think they send a lot of field trips up there. Sixty miles. Uh, they milk uh, about thirty thousand cows. Wow. They have a lot of hogs, and uh, now they're venturing into crops. And uh, the the uh, lieutenant governor and actually the secretary of agriculture was there on Wednesday and uh, to make this dedication. The, the exhibit shows uh, basically how crops were harvested maybe 50 or 100 years ago versus now. And uh, one, of the, one of them, uh, Lando Lakes, uh, put up a lot of the money for okay. this. And uh, they're promoting uh, agriculture. And uh, agriculture no longer is farming. It's not limited to that. There are more ladies in the School of Agriculture currently than there are male. Wow. And as is the situation with a lot of other sure, schools, like, sure. like medical, sure. like veterinary medicine, uh, even engineering. I know when I was there, uh, we had uh, one girl in our <laughs> class, and her name was Brown, so she sat near me. <laughs> Lucky I, man. I wonder what happened to Miss Brown. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So, well, anyway, that, so that was uh, an interesting okay. event, and, and the, the big plans there are to build a uh, very nice hotel. They opened a nice restaurant uh, about 18 months ago, and uh, it's uh, very educational, very well done. The landscaping is good. Uh, you can get a tour of the whole thing in an air-conditioned bus wow. and drive right through the cattle. And, Growing enterprise, obviously. Mm -hmm. Fed met this week again. Did nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. No. Yeah. I mean, we, we pay all that money for the Fed to meet. Shouldn't something happen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, fly they these meet, people right? all over the but country. <laughs> after nothing happened, the stock market dropped. Yeah, it did. It wanted something. Whatever. Okay. Now, the big event next Thursday. The Brits are voting on whether to leave the European Union or not. June thirtieth. Uh, Janet Yellen, who's the chair of the Fed, says they vote to secede could have.
consequences oh, sure for could. the U.S. economy. Sure could. Well, you know, what does that say? It could have. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe it would, and maybe it won't. Sounds like a political response to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She should run for office. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, the ten-year Treasury bill way, way off this uh, week, down to one point five. Uh, just pretty unheard of. Right. It's been around two. And uh, oil yesterday had a five-week low. I noticed this morning it's back up a little bit. So, lots of happening in the in the money news. Yeah. We're open today uh, from uh, till five o'clock. Tomorrow, eight thirty to noon. ATM is always open. Uh, this week we noted our first anniversary with the social media. Very good. Number one. Happy anniversary. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Right. A reminder, our high school graduation promo promotion continues through the end of this month. Uh, if, they, if they open a student checking account, we will deposit $50 in their new account at the account opening. The minimum opening uh, account is $50. So grandma gives you $50 That's for right. graduation, come on down and open, open an account. And uh, you can get a uh, debit card, and so when you go electronic to statements and all that kind of yeah. thing, right? Well, it's, if you're going to college, those debit cards are very good. Oh yeah, yeah, because you can use them, and maybe mom and dad will pay, pay the bill. <laughs> they can put money in it, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Keep you funded. Yeah. <laughs> and right along that line, uh, yeah, next month we will be rolling out our new Mastercard debit uh, with the uh, the chip in it and, and uh, when we get that do we cut up the old one yes then? okay yes, yeah do we have to make sure this one works first well you might want to <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't work call Jody she's, okay she's in charge all right all right I'll try, uh, I'll try it on the machine yeah. over there the ATM machine okay <laughs> these will replace the current visa debit card that okay. you have these new cards will offer continued convenience and increased security. That's one of the main reasons sure. for switching. Uh, there's a lot of losses, even in small town USA right. banks, uh, with with debit cards. Mm -hmm. So we hope that this will slow that up a little bit. Your current Visa debit card should be used until you get your new one. Okay. See, yeah, Dina answered your you answer question. Answered my own question. That's right. <laughs> She knew you'd ask that. First Federal is uh, FDIC insured and an equal housing lender and our NMLS number is 3, 9 or 9 or 9 or 27. That's it. So, Amy Rowe, Executive Director of the Fulton County Chamber of Commerce, welcome. Thanks for having me. Okay, now you got lots of things happening. The first thing is tonight. Tell us about the parade. Can I still get in it? We are not accepting if somebody came tonight then obviously Tom would do a great job of uh, talking about them <laughs> but we have made the lineup and we have sent it out to all the uh, recipients or the entrants okay. so we uh, so the answer is no yep. but maybe yeah okay. I mean we can't control if somebody shows up but it right. might confuse okay. but, uh, so you got 50 units in there yep. and uh, where do they gather at what time? Yep, five o'clock at the high school. So uh, our uh, board of uh, directors, some of those uh, very wonderful volunteers <laughs> will be out there with their clipboards and their uh, radios. So when they show up at the high school, either at the entrance to the front or to the back, then they'll direct them and Matt Strader is gonna be setting that all up and making sure that everybody's where they're supposed to be and they know what to do. So between five and six, we get that set up. Okay, now what's the purpose of this parade? The purpose, well, we felt like, and I've got my, my fun shirt on today, uh, the 200th uh, birthday of the state of Indiana. So one of the things that I say often, or I think about it often, is as a chamber, we want to uh, honor tradition, but move forward. So honoring tradition would to be uh, part of something that people love, which is a parade. They love parades oh, because they can celebrate Tom has been doing it absolutely. for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. So um, we wanted to honor tradition and, and continue with the parade. And of course, it's a natural uh, partnership with the 200th year of our birth for Indiana. So when we looked at what would that look like, we just couldn't say no. We had okay. to do that. So. Okay, now I, I have a question. Are you going to have a live bison? 
I wish we had a live bison. <laughs> and I think people will <laughs> keep asking if it's going to be live. But it's a replica that the United oh, Way. Okay. Yep. Okay. And uh, one of the artists that I believe, Jenny Mar Moriarty from United Way, she'll be talking about that or she'll be there um, with the Loyal, is what his name is. Loyal. 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 After Loyal, Indiana. Right. And so the name is Loyal, and he is, uh, he's pretty pretty. He's, uh, <laughs> I, see his, I saw his picture yesterday, so he's all uh, gussied up and ready to um, be in the parade. Excellent. So he will be after the Rochester High School, so after we have the uh, Star Spangled Banner played and um, have the uh, uh, wonderful, um, mm -hmm. that right there, then we will be uh, entertained by Loyal, so. Okay, do you know where Loyal is? Yes. Do. It's out of the historical society. <laughs> <laughs> now it is. I don't know where it originally was. Now there's a town name, a village name. No, I, I did not. I don't know where that town. is. Where is that? That's out west of town. Okay. I can't give you an exact yeah. okay. location. Used to be called Germany. See, Scott yeah. changed to yeah. World War Two. Yeah. Ah. And so that's why he got yeah, right. named. So where Germany Bridge is? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. where it is. I did not realize that. Yeah. You, good thing I came to uh, work today. How did you know that? You're not that. <laughs> <laughs> I manage the website for the Historical Society. Oh, uh, okay. He's highly intelligent, okay. too. Before World War II, it was called Germany. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we didn't like Hitler no. and others, and so no. oh, we'll change the name to Loyal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so and now we have a bison. Now, now we have bison a bison, bison a pretty yeah, gussied up bison, right. bison named Loyal, who will be celebrating with us. Okay. Celebrate the national anthem and celebrate Loyal. Okay. That's what we're going to do. You making notes on this am. for tonight? I am. Yeah, he's already got the book. I've got so the book. He's been practicing. He's been <laughs> standing in his office talking. That's what he said he was going to do at least. <laughs> All right, so we're we're going to have that. Uh, yep. And uh, tomorrow, what's happening tomorrow? Tomorrow we have uh, to start off with, and it goes over the uh, the tourism commission. We're so grateful for them. Uh, Fulton County Tourism Commission gave us money to advertise for this uh, Fulton County Father's Day weekend. What we realized that there's multiple events happening. So why not collect them and have a partnership and, and draw folks here to Fulton County? Mm -hmm. So got the parade today and then tomorrow we have the... Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Some people out there are wondering where the money from the tourism committee comes from. Well, it comes from the tax at the motels. Yep, innkeeper's tax. Right, innkeeper's tax. Innkeeper's tax. So it's basically other people paying for us yeah. to draw more, and more we're, folks here. We're, we're very good at taxing other people. <laughs> we don't mind that <laughs> so that much. Get that out of town money. <laughs> we need resources, so if other people want to help us have resources, well, we don't it's pay a, that. It's, it's a good thing. It, it was instigated good. several years ago. Yep, back in 2000. Alan Terrell really uh, he, he did. Did, did, did that right. yep. and uh, got things like you know, he's got a knack for making money it's like <laughs> well we're not taxing these people and we there's a a, a vehicle available to sure do that, so. mm -hmm. sure and we're grateful to okay. him because all right go ahead i'm sorry oh, that's okay we di we digress but um the manitow monster triathlon so the 6 a.m which is quite early well before the breakfast at the flying club starts but that's when the registration for Manitow Monster will start, and I believe they have around 200 um, participants. Yeah, that is really a great event. And it's growing every year. It from, is. From uh, out of town. And that's why we wanted to partner. That was the main attraction, so we basically built everything around that. Okay. So giving them, Scott Stahlbaum was the one who uh, came to me and said, do you recognize how many folks come here? And they're asking for other stuff to do. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. And so that's why we put the parade there on Friday night. The chamber uh, building will be open, the office at 5.30 for the folks here for the triathlon to come get their packets. And they're all okay. gonna get one of these beautiful- 5.30 in the morning? <laughs> 5.30 tonight. Oh, tonight. Tonight. Yeah, I'm not getting there that early. <laughs> I like Scott, but um, they'll come and look at one of these and then they'll get a packet also um, of all the Friday night in Fulton County food and drink fun. Mm -hmm. All our chamber members. Yeah, there's some post uh, parade activities going on tonight. Yeah, yep, yep. So that's uh, that's actually on the chamber website. Okay. We had some of the chamber members, we reached out to mostly food um, and entertainment and asked them, hey, we have folks coming in. We can't guarantee, but we have, Scott's telling us that 200 folks are coming in and we would like to provide them something to do after the parade. So various different places like Evergreen, they'll have treated and released at right. 8 p.m. Uh, the Dam Tomorrow Landing. Night. Uh, tonight. Tonight. Yep, tonight. Yeah, tonight after the parade, uh, starting at 8. We've got the Dam Landing who has karaoke. Uh, they'll be doing that. Uh, Rumors has stuff. 
um, probably all evening, and uh, the Snubble Tier will have a release of uh, one of their new wines. Is it tomorrow night? Uh, that's all tonight. tonight. That's all tonight. Oh, so that's more than I can handle. I know. <laughs> that's why you have to go to the Chamber website and look at this. There's too much for me to handle, too. Okay. But tomorrow, yep, we've got the triathlon, and then after that, if, if they're not too tired and they're ready to continue to rock and roll, they can go over to the block party at 1 o'clock. Now, what's a block party? What's a block party? It's just a fancy name. A lot of people from the Main Street programs, it's a fancy name for just a little fun around the uh, courthouse block. Okay. So. And uh, this evolved out of the, the Round Barn Festival, am I correct? Ish. I ish. think, yeah, okay. ish. I think they were looking for something fun for folks to do, and as the Main Street program came out, I think they were trying to figure out what their special mark was and uh, what a better way to uh, honor a downtown than having a downtown block party. So they put that together in uh, combination with the parade. I think it was on the same day last year. Am I correct about yeah. that, Tom? Uh, I don't recall. Okay. We'd have it to was. look at it. Was it? Yeah. Scott knows everything, so Scott knows. Right. So, but we're doing the partnership, so it's actually on Saturday. But they'll have the food vendors, they'll have, um, you can buy think things such as Tupperware and um, Tupperware Tupperware they're gonna have everything <laughs> I don't know all I've got all of it right here I, I just keep my let everybody else do it I keep my notes so got extra food we've got a little bit of everything goods food uh, games family fun all around the court all around so right here and you know right here right here 8th Street, Street and courthouse yep. and some of the uh, the vendors from the farmers market will be staying also so, oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then from six to eight, they will have open mic nights. I'm hoping that Scott or Tom or Scott better than me. <laughs> Somebody will come out here. Maybe Mike Kenny. I keep saying that out loud. Sure. To come play the guitar or sing. Okay. So. For those of you that are wondering who this person is, <laughs> said last he's uh, the Amy Rowe, executive director of the Fulton County Chamber of Commerce, and you've been in the job now about a year and a half. Uh, it feels like a year and a half okay. with as many things nice. as we, we've been working on, but it's about eight months, okay. I think, working on nine. Well, you're doing a great job. Well, thank you. We appreciate the opportunity. Okay. Anything else uh, that yeah. you need to bring Well, we, like you said, you don't want to forget about that uh, historical power show, the Gathering of the Orange. Mm -hmm. I'm going to head out there because I've been hearing about it, and i got to see a little bit more about well, agriculture. You, and you got to know what color orange it is. I know I've got it in my head what I think it is so okay. but yeah we're pretty excited about this and uh, we hope that we've been advertising like I said to the hilt so well not to mention that Sunday's Father's Day yep and that's the thing on Sunday the only thing going on is uh, the power show from 9 to 2 and then go have a cookout and enjoy sure. your father and celebrate him Good. or whoever the man in your life that you love so we hope. Thank you, Amy, for stopping by. And then this we're morning. gonna go and take a nap and okay. have an adult beverage after that. Probably. <laughs> okay. We'll be tired. All right, our trivia, uh, which is tied into Alice right. Chalmer, which is the featured uh, equipment at the power show. The orange is it safety orange, burnt orange, or precision orange? I think it's Parisian. I think burnt. Safety. Parisian. <laughs> Scott's always right. <laughs> one, of the, one of the founders of the company was driving along and saw these poppies uh, and they liked the orange. Oh. And uh, now you know. What it goes The company from? was founded in Milwaukee in 1901. Okay. I thought you'd want to know that. All right, we're going to close with this appropriate by unknown. <laughs> a father carries pictures where his money used to be. <laughs> Amen to that. Yeah, really. You know about that, Scott? <laughs> yes, sir, I do. Dick Belcher, thank you very much. Amy Rose, Scott, of course, being here on the First Federal Program. Buying your first home? Let the experts at First Federal Savings Bank help you through the process. At First Federal, all of their mortgage loans are serviced locally with payment options that are convenient for you. Their staff will work with you answering your questions and providing professional service. First Federal will even pay standard closing costs for qualifying first-time home buyers. Just another way, First Federal takes care of you, your local mortgage lender.